there's a way to make an entrance. <laughs> My destiny. It was now a conspiracy of witches. Download Veely today. You can leave. She stays. Come on. You keep out of it. D.C. Callahan, from Bridewell. Yeah. Thanks. You want to tell me what that was all about? I was there on business. Got involved in a domestic, some guy kicking off on some girl. Police business? Yeah. Why didn't you identify yourself? Because I didn't want anyone to know who I was. And what was this uh, police business? I was supposed to be meeting someone. An informant? It'd be good if you could make all this go away. Listen, fella, that bar's a wreck. The manager's pressing charges. There's a girl in hospital, and you're down for pulling a knife on a member of the public. It was the guy that pulled the knife. You know who the guy was? No. Name's Suez. He's known to us. You're lucky you didn't get hurt. I appreciate your cooperation. Christ, Collie, where have you been? I should have let him kill you. OK, let's start with a detailed explanation and work on up to the full apology. I didn't know he was going to turn up, did I? And you were late. Do you know how many favours I had to pull to get you out of that shit? Of which you caused. And why was Sue's going for you like that? Because he's a bastard. He's also your boyfriend. Not anymore. Good. What do you mean, good? Because he's the kind of boyfriend who screws other women. 
and takes the money you earn from prostitution and buys heroin for the both of you and keeps the change and slaps you around when you moan about it. I'm not being judgmental about it or nothing. Who was the blonde in the pub? She can have her. What do you call a meeting for, Carmen? I've got some information and I want to know how much I'm going to get for it. Well, it depends what it is. It's murder. It's serious, right? He's killed someone and I know who it is, so what's that worth? Look, I don't know. If it's OK, 50 up front, maybe another 250 if it goes somewhere good. It depends. I'd need 100 up front first. Who's he murdered and how do you know about it? Oh, no, listen, Callie. They need people at the new bar just opened on Oak Street. I'm going to see the guy tomorrow. I just need some new clothes, something neat and clean, you know. Make an impression. Oh, I'm sick of it, Callie, really sick. I want to get off work on the streets every night. It scares the shit out of me. I know. Look, I'll see what I can do. It's Katrina Mahi! Who? She's been murdered and you don't even know about it. When was this? New Year's Eve last. God, you're shite, you. How do you know about this? He told me himself, Sewers. <sighs> he had a fight and he killed her with a knife. Who was she? I don't know, just some girl he knew. He had a fight and he did her. Well, where was this? I don't know, but he used to tell me, you mess me around, Carmen, and I'll do the same to you. What, and you believed him? Yeah, Callie, I believed him. Can I have my money now? I'll call you later. I promise. Where are you staying? At my mum's. Patch things up, yeah? She's moved out. Yeah. Get something to eat. Thanks, Callie, and thanks for so nice as well, you know. Where's Madeline Monroe, anyway? She's been away. You fancy her, don't you? No. I need to see you, somewhere private, on your own. And you can't tell anyone. And you can't tell Callie, especially not Callie. How did you know I was in Greece? Will you meet me, Dipoli? No, I am not going to meet you somewhere private or anywhere. we got nothing to say to each other, not ever. Aren't you even curious? No. You'll come. You know you will. Goodbye. Hello. How was it? Oh. I need a bath now. Sounds fab. Is your car supposed to be waiting? Yeah. I'm on nights, so I've got to be at work in half an hour. I'll come with you then, I'm off out. Did you have a nice break, though? I had some time to think. Yeah, that's the problem with holidays. Listen, Julie, if I tell you stuff, the personal stuff that I want kept secret, would you go and tell Callie? No, oh, I expect so, if it was funny enough. No, seriously, if it was about him. Me and him. You and him? Yeah. What about you and him? Well, that's what I want to talk to you about. Well, if it was about you and him, I'd definitely tell him. You would? Yeah. If you went blabbing off stuff about my brother to me, I'd assume it was because you wanted me to tell him. Yes, but if I told you I didn't... I wouldn't believe you. Well, why not? Because if you want to go out with someone, you always tell the person you want to tell them not to tell them, don't you? I never said I wanted to go out with him. 
Oh. Is that what you want me to tell him? No. OK. Don't you dare tell him that. Well, what do you want me to tell him, then? Nothing. Don't tell him anything. What if I really don't want you to tell him stuff? Don't tell me about it. Have you got any mascara? Don't you want to know what it is? I know what it is. All I want to know is what you want me to tell him. I don't want you to tell him anything. I, I just want some advice on how to handle it. OK. What do you mean you know what it is? Has he said something? Of course not. He never says anything. I just... I don't want to mess things up, you know, between us. Well, if I were you, I'd talk to him about it. Oh, what's the point in that? He never says anything. <laughs> <laughs> Forget it. OK. You want advice? Here's some advice. If you're waiting for Mark to bring all this up, don't hold your breath. How have you been? OK, yeah. How was it? Fine. Yeah, thanks. Spain, yeah? Greece. <sighs> what happened to your jacket? Oh, we got ripped in a fight. Oh, another textbook interview. What? Nothing. Where is everybody? I got attacked in a bar, OK? You surprise me. Uh, listen, uh, Carmen's brought something in. Oh, terrific. I think it might be worth looking at. I doubt it. Her stuff's usually bollocks. Well, I'm going to go and see Howard about it now. All right, I'll be along in a minute. Good to have you back. Missed you too. Hi, Pearly. How's Spain? Weirdly like Greece. Oh, yeah, they're all the same these days, aren't they? Yeah. So, what's the gossip? Have we got a new DS yet? Joe got moved up to acting. Joe? Yeah. Last week. Can I get on with this? Oh, yeah, sure. Um... Carmen, yeah? Yeah, she's a legend that her ex-boyfriend, Sue, has told her he murdered a girl called Katrina Mackey on New Year's Eve. Ex-boyfriend? Yeah, they seem to have broken up. <laughs> Again? This is, is this the same guy you wrecked a bar with tonight? Oh, you wrecked a bar now. <laughs> you heard about that? Christ, not much. <laughs> Katrina Mackey, Katrina Mackey. She's just down as a missing person. No fixed address. History of involvement with drugs and prostitution. <sighs> She's gone missing before, but always turned up, so one way or another, we didn't spend too long on her. And what's Carmen's angle? She's pretty desperate for money, and she's pissed off with Suez. But I think she believes what she's saying. The missing girl did know Suez, and she was last seen New Year's Eve. Why didn't Carmen bring this in before? She needed the guy. She, she loved him. She was scared of him. Whatever. <clears throat> it's a long shot. But we'd better do some digging around. Her dad was the last person to see her. He wanted to speak to us. Doesn't care how late. You pissed off at me about something. Why would I be pissed off? Mr. Mackey, DC Callahan, this is DC DePauli. Come in, come in. Look, as I said on the phone, Mr. Mackey, we just want to check it had nerve from your daughter. No, I'd have called you straight away. I know the case isn't closed yet. No, that's right. Do you mind me asking if there's a new development? Uh, we're unsure how to evaluate it. That's why we appreciate your time. Of course, of course. A anything I can do to help. The case file numbers 99 oblique, 48372 oblique, 05Y1. Shall I write that down? 
No thanks, I've uh, just been reading it. One thing that's not in the file, though. Katrina's definitely alive, 100%. I feel that now more than ever. Every day that passes, I grow more optimistic. Because I'm a day near the moment when that phone rings and she says, hey, Dad, can I borrow some money? <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't be related to Neil Callan by any chance, would you? Yeah, he was my half fella. Well, well. You're an half fella. Fancy that. It's just you really remind me of me, you know? Oh, we're very different. Oh, I should hope so. <laughs> he was a prize bastard. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, he could be. It's a hard game to turf. We used to play the horses together, you know, years ago. I didn't make it to the funeral. A lot of people didn't. <laughs> well, when a boogie dies, you know. He must have been worth a few bob, though. He was, yeah. Have a seat. Well, anyway, I couldn't go because I was inside at the time. Armed robbery. Just the lookout like but uh, I can't complain. And when you want to provide for your family, then sometimes you make bad judgments. You know how it is. You haven't come to tell me she's dead, have you? No. We don't know that, Mr. Mackey. Have you had any contact with any of her friends since she disappeared? Oh, God, yes. I check on them all regularly. Anything you want to know about any of them, it's all here. Alphabetical, chronological. I make notes after the chat. Keep up with their movements. Can I ask what that is? I have about 20 separate routes around the Liverpool area. Each one's about 15 miles. I'll give or take. More or less. That's six days a week. I'll cover an area at a time and I'll walk down every single street looking. I've done over 3,000 miles since January. <laughs> I should do it for charity, but I haven't really got the time. I just put some music on the headphones. You know, my favourites, You'll Never Walk Alone. I tell myself I'm striding out in Anfield and pff, off I go. Keeps me fit, relatively. Neither of you were kids. No. Yeah, well, maybe you don't understand. You were the last person to see your daughter before she disappeared, is that right? Well, it was me who reported her missing. And I did say that on New Year's Eve. She popped by to say hello. And then Carmen picked it up and they went off together. Carmen Fitzgerald? That's it. Katrina had known her for years. They were sort of best friends. Isn't that in your file? <sighs> Maybe I missed it. Listen, if you see her, Katrina, and she's angry with me or something. You'll tell her to call, won't you? I just want to know she's OK. I just want to see her. OK, she's not there. She might be out with a musher. We'll wait a bit. You don't like Carmen much, do you? Not very much, no. Listen, Callie, do you want to go out and get something to eat one night? What? I was just saying we could uh, go out and get something to eat. Or something. Before tomorrow's shift. For example. A meal? Yeah, that's right, food. OK, sure. Was that OK, sure, that's great? Or OK, sure, I'd rather die, but I can't think of an excuse to get out of it yet? When you want food, we'll have food. What's your problem? No, I don't have a problem. Me and I do, or what? OK, forget the food. Oh, no food now? Yeah, that's right, no food. I'm sorry I brought it up, forget it. No, I don't want to forget it. I want to know what you're in such a bad mood about. I am not in a bad mood. I just thought that, you know, it might be nice once in a while to get away from decaying corpses, smacked up prostitutes and, you know, just talk, have a normal conversation. A normal conversation? That's right. It's important to communicate. OK. 
So how was your holiday? What do you care about my holiday? You don't even know where I went. Is that what you're pissed off about? Of course not. That would be unbelievably petty. Yeah, it would be. That's right. Because you don't hear me complaining about not getting a postcard, do you? What? That would be unbelievably petty. It's on its way. Just an example. Although I bitterly regret the money I blew on the stand. I'll bet. Oh, God, you're pathetic. Do you know that? Really pathetic. You're right. It's important to communicate. 20 for the iron job, 30 for the blow job, and 40 for the donna cabal. Get in and shut up. OK, Carmen, let's start again with the Katrina Mackey thing. <sighs> what are we doing over here? By the time I get back, there'll be no mushers left. Katrina Mackey. This is costing me. I want me money first. You owe me. Katrina Mackey. I've told you what I know. Yeah, but you never mentioned you and I were best friends, did you? No, or that you were with her before she disappeared. Sue has told me you did her. That's all I know. Tell us where you went New Year's Eve, Carmen. Tell us what happened with Katrina. Who said I went anywhere with Katrina? Look, that girl's father spent every day of his life walking the streets looking for that girl. Now you are going to tell me what happened to her now. It's not true, is it, any of it? You're just shitting us for some money. I'm not. You're lying. I'm not. It's not true, none of it. How do you know you weren't there? You were, though, weren't you? Jesus Christ, you saw the whole thing. I want to go home. We're going to have to arrest you now, Carmen. She's not going to make a statement. Well, she was keen enough to finger him in the first place, wasn't she? I don't think she thought it through. You know what it was all going to involve. Any chance of getting her to go back, wired up, getting him to talk? Forget it. On the other hand, she's an addict. She's starting to come off. In a couple of hours, she needs medication. We'll get more done. OK, get the quack in. Write her a prescription. And take a break. Good to have your back, girl. How are you? Oh, shattered. I just want to crawl under a desk and die. It's the way to get ahead. <laughs> hey, did you have a nice time? No. Fancy coffee? We've got service downstairs, so we kept him waiting as long as we can. We've got time for a quick one. No, we haven't, Frank. Since when did you start giving out the orders, anyway? Oh, yeah, congratulations. Snivelling management lackey. Thank you. Yeah, we're all thrilled. Uh, where's Kelly? Huh, like anyone cares. Oh, the course of true love. Closed for major roadworks. Can I be Mr. Nasty this time? Shut up. Oh, can I? No. You know why you've been arrested, Mr. Tulliver? I told the last law to the other place. I've no idea why that guy started off with me, man. I just goes in for a quiet drink, minding my own business, and. You know? He was a piece of work, man. Hit me when I wasn't looking. Do you know Katrina Mackey? Who? Katrina Mackey. Oh, Katrina Mackey? No. You sure about that? Never heard of her. We have a witness says you do. Really? Who's that, then? Do you know her or not? I've already told you I don't know any Katrina. Well, I'm wondering why you'd want to lie about a thing like that. He's just said he doesn't know the person. I heard him, yeah. But I didn't believe him. Can we move on? What were you doing New Year's Eve, Suez? <laughs> huh? New Year's Eve. It's the night before New Year's Day. Oh, I can't remember, man. I mean, come on. New Year's Eve. Parties. Earlier on. Before the parties. I don't know. I mean, Jesus, what were you doing New Year's Eve? Shall we repeat the question? He's just said he can't remember. Well, we wouldn't want to rush him now, would we? What is it with all this New Year's shit, anyway? That was the last time Katrina Mackey was seen alive. <laughs> I know what all this is. This is Carmen. Because of tonight. Because of that girl. 
It was just a friend of a friend anyway, I mean, no one's married here, do you know what I mean? Did she tell you she stole my telly? Did she tell you that? A 29-inch Panasonic, I mean, how does a girl that small get that down the stairs, eh? You know she's a prostitute, don't you? And the drugs. <laughs> this is a girl that puts rubbers on guys' dicks for a living, which is, by the way, not legal. And some people shouldn't listen to stuff that she's got to tell them because she is a lying bitch. Way well, I see, you've got a chance of helping yourself here, Suez, by giving us your side of the story. <laughs> My side of the story is I've done nothing. Man, can you get me out of here? Any other questions? Rambling denial, acute memory loss. Stolen. You got anything else, Callie? We're struggling a bit in there. Yeah, we're going in now. His brief knows we're fishing. I don't give a shit what his brief knows, Joe. Because I'm not gonna go back there and tell that guy we think his daughter's dead, but we don't really know because we're struggling a bit with the guy that did it and his brief knows we're fishing. Just keep your personal life out my face, Callie. All right. What was all that about? We've got to figure out how we're gonna go, Carmen. You feeling okay? Did the doctor give you any more of them pills? We've got to stick to the dosage, Carmen. Oh, I've got to get out of here, Callie. Tell us how you knew Katrina. We used to get the bus to school together. She used to get these pills off my mum, sleeping pills. So as when my stepdad was sticking it to me, I wouldn't notice as much. We'd go out for days on end. Run away to glamorous South Port. The Blackpool Riviera. It's where we met to at a service station. It was different then. Oh, Callie, I'm scared. What are you scared of? What am I going to do? Look, you started to do a really good thing here, Carmen. You know? We just want to finish it. I can't do all this, Callie. I can't go to court. I can't. If you just tell us what happened to Katrina, then maybe there'll be another way of getting to this. Diane, Callie, won't you let us out? And what are you going to do then? Go back to Suez? <sighs> Come. We went to buy some drach for a New Year's Eve party, me and Katrina. We went up to Aiton. We were going to get 20 quid's worth, but we only had 10. <sighs> so we went back to mine, and Sirius turns up. We weren't supposed to till later. So Katrina hit the rock down on Nichols so we wouldn't find it. He starts saying he wants some rock. And we say we haven't got any. And he says he knows we have because he's just been around the guy who we got it off. So Katrina says, you're too late anyway, we've done it in. And he kicks off on her. She starts screaming at him because she's sick of him always moaning like everyone owes him a living. And he gets his knife out to scare her and starts waving it around. She hit him with a saucepan. And he cut himself really bad on the arm with his knife. And then he just went mad, slashing him. And they were both bleeding like pigs. It was terrible, there was blood everywhere. And then he starts ripping her clothes, looking for the crack, but he couldn't find it. I ran away, 
God forgive me, I've run away! There is a scar on his arm and it's recent. Right. Go back at him. He's a cocky little bastard. He's not going to give himself up. He killed a little girl for ten quid's worth of chemicals, so you go back at him. We need more. We need the body. If that bastard's blood's all over it. I don't think she knows where it is. And a statement from Carmen. Yeah, well, Carmen's not ready to give him up yet. Why not? Because it means giving up smack. Well, we can't keep him here much longer. Have you got any ideas? Did you find me? Ian ratted you out. Typical priest. You ever watched Everton train before? Listen, Patrick, I need your help. And what could someone like me possibly do for someone like you? Is this girl? Young girl, she's missing. You think she's dead? And is this girl called Carmen? Knows what happened to her, knows who killed her. See, the thing is, Carmen's a smackhead. And the guy we're looking at, he looks after her. See, I'm not just asking her to give him up. That'd be OK, although she's scared of him. I'm asking her to give up heroin. The whole way of life which comes from him because she depends on him. Patrick, I can't talk to her. I can't stand there and tell her everything's gonna be okay. There's something better on the other side if she gives up heroin. But you can. This girl's father. He's just dying inside, you know? He just wants to know what's happened to his daughter. I want to tell him. You know, I used to listen to people talking about you, Mark. Weddings or shit, you know, confirmations. The kind of places where everyone gets together to just slag each other off. People saying how great you were. All the shit you do when you didn't have to because of all the money we had. I just wanted to scream, you know. No! No. No, he's not great at all. He doesn't care about other people at all. He's a ruthless little bastard. He does what he does because he loves doing it. Anyone that can help him get what he wants, well, that's just fine. But if you get in his way, you better watch out. If you want to screw somebody's life up, Mark, you do it on your own. OK, Mr Tolliver. You can go. Thanks for the hospitality. <laughs> Not going home? I thought I'd hang around a bit. Yeah, it's weird the way this has all come up again, you know? Katrina Mackey. I did some of the inquiries when she first went missing. It was a nightmare. Trailing round squats, talking to vagrants. Someone like that. 
who lives on the edge of the world, they slip off and no one notices. Yeah. So, she's back then. Who? The Paulie. Back. So? So. She's here again, back from holiday. The debris of her bankrupt relationship with that loser boyfriend Will floating away in the distance behind her and ready for... Ready for what? Another bankrupt relationship. What are you talking about? I'm talking about Paulie and you. There is no Paulie and me. Fall in love with someone, you know. It's not a crime. There is no Paulie and me. What's the matter with you? What are you waiting for? What is the problem? Paulie, she's a lovely girl. Madonna and whore. What more could you want? People that work together, you know? It's unprofessional. Never bothered me, pal, I tell you. Love, Callie. Love is a wonderful thing. And it is better than the Merseyside Police Force. Do you know what the two saddest words in the English language are, Callie? Do you know what they are? Hello, Frank. If only. If only. Hey, Callie. Visitor. Who's he staying now? This is my brother. Not the priest? <laughs> no. No, not the priest. What, what's wrong with your lad? Got shot off. Do you smoke? How are you feeling? Shy. What's he doing here? I'm here to persuade you to do something really stupid. Once upon a time, I was an informant for my big brother. He got me to tell him stuff about a guy called Mikey Sullivan. A really hard guy, you know? Just like Suez. And he pushed me and he bullied me until he got what he wanted, because what he wanted was to put Mikey Sullivan away. Except it all went wrong. And Mikey came looking for me. And there I was. Shot five times. Is this true? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's true. I'm lucky to be here. Open them out again. Just remember, next time it could be you. That's what I think, yeah. Then you're right. Giving you any DFs? What's it got to do with you? I'm just asking. What would you know about it, anyway? What would I know about it? Detox. Hunched up in bed, shivering and sweating, throwing up into the bowl they give you. Only it's dry because there's nothing to throw up. And the pain. Every single limb, every joint, the worst pins and needles ever, constant. And you can't sleep, you'd love to sleep, you're tired, you're exhausted, but you just can't. You're too tired to even get up and take your mind off it, so you just turn and you turn and you turn, but you just can't get comfortable, nothing else. You're freezing and you're boiling because your thermometer doesn't work anymore. Time drags and time flies because your clock doesn't work anymore. The noise is horrible. is worse. You can't sleep. It's torture. <laughs> and they um, the depression and the guilt. Ah, oh, the guilt. All the money you could have had, all the lives you could have had, all the people you could have been, and it's nobody's fault but yours. And then there's the fear. How can I live with this? How can I live without it? Please, God, what is to become of me? 
When will it ever stop? It'll never stop. Please, God, please, just let me never, ever, ever do heroin again. Please, God, give me heroin. Just let me sleep. Take me out of this. Please, God. Hell. Have you ever done any stand-up? You can go now. Don't leave your cigarettes. Can't have been much fun listening to that. I like her. Come. You couldn't save your baby brother and you can't save her. All right. Yeah. Oh, um... She knows where Katrina is. Carmen. I just wanted to thank you both. We're very sorry. Yeah, well, I'll think of the good times.
Good luck. I'm not going to stick it away for Aiden and a betting, are you? We'll see what we can do. We'll see what we can do, is that it? She helped the guy bury her friend, Patrick. It's pretty serious. I see. She was terrified. To be honest, it would really help. Before this gets a court, if she'd help herself. Like what? Come on, cheer up. It's the best detox in the Northwest. All the footballers go there. Go on with her, Mark. I settled in. Listen, Mark. Eh? Mark. I didn't do it for you. Why are you looking so smug about? Come on, I'll buy you a cheap drink. Uh. Listen, I would, but I'm really tired. Another time? OK. You're not upset, are you? No. I always look like this. <laughs> I must admit, Callahan, today for once, you weren't entirely useless. See you tomorrow. Nothing.